Okay guys, so, uh, pardon my hair and my face and my adjusting the camera. Um, it's 2am and I said I was going to bed a while ago. But I woke up and I started thinking about stuff. And at first I kind of made myself sad. But then I started scrolling through TT's blog, Sparrow's blog, and Brooke's blog. Because they're my buddies. And it occurred to me that I constantly thank all my followers, but I don't thank them enough. So, I'm going to make three sections of video, one for each of them, and they're going to follow right after this. This is my quick little intro. I'm going to talk very quietly because I don't want to wake up my parents. Um, so I'm quiet, turn up the volume. But this is mostly for them. Alright, so the first one I want to talk to tonight is TT. Hi TT! Um, I don't even know where to start with you. So, in a Skype chat with all four of us, for those of you that don't know, we have like this really awesome squad chat on Skype going, squad goals were awesome. But I mentioned that I'd been following your Hanji blog when it was still around. Um, I used to be a huge Homestuck nerd, and my main blog was a Homestuck thing, and when Attack on Titan came out, I was like not so sure I wanted to be in the hype with everybody else, but a bunch of my friends were into it, so I started following a couple of blogs and started watching it. I never finished it, um, but one of my friends that I followed that was really into it reblogged one of your posts one time, and not only did I think you were like so funny, I thought you were perfect, like your face was perfect. Um, and I followed you after that and practically stalked your blog like all the time. And I didn't even realize when I saw your- because I guess I followed your personal blog after I found your Hanji blog. I didn't even realize when you started the Harry Potter blog that, that was you. That you were the same person. Because you're so good at what you do. Um, and so, when I, how I found the Harry Potter blog was I was like scrolling Tumblr and I was going back through my Harry Potter hype because I was going back to it and trying to get away from home stuff and re-entered the Harry Potter fandom and somebody reblogged that post you had of all the different characters that you did where you're trying to try out everybody and I was like, oh my gosh, this person's really cool and their Harry is adorable and so then I messaged you and I was like, hey, I've been thinking about starting a Draco blog for a while, do you want to roleplay? And then when you mentioned that you started, that you'd done an Attack on Titan blog a while ago, I was like, oh my god, it's them. I realized that you were the same person. I freaked out. I was already freaking out that you said you'd cosplay with me and roleplay with me. And I'm really glad that we got closer-ish. Because, like, the conversation I had with you today really helped me out. Um, I've been really stressed really upset and I just <laughs> I have a good support system but my friends aren't usually around lately because it's holidays and they're busy for me to message them and I just kind of word vomited on you and you word vomited back and it was great and so, I don't know if you're still into Attack on Titan, but one of my close friends gave me a survey corpse thing, so... He gave- my friend gave me this at a Christian camp. And I was out to him at the time, and I still know. He's one of my best friends. This is way too big for me because this is his. Um, and when my hair was really blonde uh, for a while, I used to wander around in this every time I saw him. And my friends called me Krista. And I just... like a sibling, like an older sibling, and I've only really 
we've gotten to know you for a month. And I want us to get even closer. I'm waiting till the day that I get the time to Skype all four of you. Because I want to, like, actually talk to you. And, um... <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for, um... Letting me roleplay with you. Because without you, none of this would have happened. My entire blog, all these people that really love me, the support system I have, Sparrow, Brooke. <sighs> None of this would have happened without you. So just thank you for being awesome and being you and don't ever stop. <sighs> You're so perfect. Hi, Sparrow. So, um... Jeez, I don't know where to start with any of you guys. <sighs> you are like the cutest human being I think I've ever seen. <laughs> You're so adorable. And we talk like all the time. So you know all the awesome things I love about you. But oh, I realized I forgot my prop. One minute. I have props for all of you. Fun fact that, uh, the quill I used for, uh, <laughs> for Leslie was actually the feather from my hat. Um, so, you're hilarious, and you're super cute, and you're the biggest Disney nerd I think I've ever met, except for my friend Dorothy, who I haven't talked to in a while. Uh, I don't know, I feel like a kid, like a little kid, when I talk to you, and we, we have fun, and we roleplay, and... You make me super happy. You're like always really hyper and always in a really good mood and always really smiley. And uh, I want to Skype with you too. Because I've seen your really awesome videos and stuff. I know, speaking of which, that's actually you messaging the Skype chat right now. A little bit of there's you over in the corner. Anyway, uh, anyway, but you, you're really smiley and you make my day better. And, uh, I'm really glad I started this blog and that you messaged me and were like, oh my gosh, I'm freaking out because I wouldn't have met you otherwise. And I love talking to you and I can't wait to get closer friends with you. And I need a car so I can just move to Washington and hang out with you and Brooke all the time because you guys are awesome. <laughs> I love you so much. Uh, you feel like... I want to say you feel like a sister, because you feel like almost even closer than that. But, you're super cute, and I love you. <laughs> Brooke! Oh my god! I know I keep saying you all are really adorable, but you're the cutest thing ever. So, if I ever get to see you in person, remind me to give you this. So, my dad found this at a sale and it's a poison bottle a little purple poison bottle it has a wreath on it it looks like a coffin and it says rest in peace on it um i love holly and i know you were kind of insecure about her at first because you were afraid you really wouldn't like her um and your other cosplays are super cute and adorable and i love them but oh my gosh holly is so great um so the reason why I want to give this to you is because she loves potions and I just, because of the whole snake thing and the poison bottle and then the aesthetic I made her, you have to leave so soon I was just about to poison the tea. This is perfect and I really like this, like I love this a lot, but every time I see it I just think about you. So. This might be used in the future with Corbin. That aside... Oh man, I don't know where to start. I love you, and I want you to know that I 
you're, I know you're stressed a lot and bad things happen, um, and that you're not always in the right place mentally, and I'm not either, so I totally get you. But I want you to know that if you want to talk to somebody at any point in time, I'm here for you. Because our squad, I'm calling us a squad now, we're a squad, the four of us. We've gotten like really close and we act really goofy, but I seriously would be down for helping you at any point. Heck, I'd be down for giving all three of you my phone numbers and then if any of you were ever upset, just literally call me if I'm not working. Because I love you all so much. And if you didn't have roommates already, I would totally bunk with you. You were so cool. And I just... Ugh, I want to get to know you so much better. Because you make me really happy. Your posts make me really happy. Your face makes me really happy. Also, you were like the cutest Luna I think I've ever seen. And the Moaning Myrtle cosplay you did. I was like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. Your tongs is adorable too. You're very, very pretty. You're a very pretty person. And I love you. <laughs> and I love roleplaying with you because it always gets so interesting. I'm so sorry I haven't responded to our personal roleplay yet, but uh, I might actually be shipping Holly and Corbin just a little bit because they're so cute. And that's mostly just because you're, you're so adorable. I love you so much. <laughs> And now that Mo is done being the happiest creature known to man, Mo is actually gonna go to sleep now. So this probably won't be up till like Monday, Tuesday. You'll see it when you see it. I'll tag all of you guys. Um, but thank you so much for being like the best squad ever. And uh, thank you all for being so cute and loving me. Don't like automatically message me and be like, oh my god, I love you because that embarrasses me so much. I'll be like, can we go back to loving TT like I did the other night in our chat? But good night, guys.